up YouTube guys? First of all I'm gonna say I'm sorry if I get a bit croaky, a bit vile in general in this video. I've caught someone's germs and it's pretty typical for the British summer at the minute so <clears throat> excuse me if I get a bit there on camera. I am battling a pretty bad cold right now but I thought I'm still going to bring you this unboxing video. It is the unboxing video for June's My Geek Box. It arrived on time this month. Go in my Geek Box, they probably had a lot of complaints last month because it arrived about a week late. Feels quite heavy, so might get some good stuff. Let's open the box and see what we've got. Is it any good? Oh, okay. First out of the box. We have a Marvel uh, Wolverine Dorbs character. Dorbs is basically a bit like pop vinyl, but they're all these like the same shape. They look like Luigi dolls. And <clears throat> this one's pretty cool. I like Wolverine. Don't know whether to keep it in the packaging or not. Oh hell, let's just open it. Here he is. And there you go. We have Wolverine. Wolverine Dorbs character. Um, he's a lot heavier than I thought he'd be. He's made of like a vinyl, plasticky thing, but he seems a bit too heavy just for like a vinyl pop type figure. Um, I've always preferred pop vinyl, but you know, this is pretty cool. And he's pretty decently made, so he'll go on display with all my other little superhero things I've got from my geek box. Second out the box uh, is this Hobbit um, mug. Um, I'm not sure if it's a heat changing mug. Let's open it up. Okay, so this is the mug I've got. It says The Hobbit there and it looks like the map in the background but it's not actually showing up very well. You can't read it or anything. So I'm guessing it's heat sensitive. It says The Hobbit, An Unexplained Journey. Then you've got the characters there. And then there you've got a picture of Rivendell. So I'm going to go get some hot water now and see if it does anything. So with a bit of hot water established, it is not a heat sensitive mug. It's a bit strange because the actual design on it, you can see like an outline of the Shire map underneath, but you can't really see any of the details. So it's either a heat sensitive mug that no longer works, or it is just a really weirdly designed mug. Third out the box is a Batman Superman bottle opener. Ugh. Okay, so it's just a, um, a thick rubber handle. That's uh, obviously the, the bat symbol with Superman inside it. And it's just got a little bottle opener on the top. It says uh, Batman Superman on the back as well. So yeah, that'll come in handy. Okay, fourth item is this comic book. Civil War 2, so it has um, it has Iron Man and Wonder Woman. Oh, it's Wonder Woman with a cross of someone else as well. I don't know who that is, but it is a US a US comic because it says four dollars ninety nine US. A little peek inside. There you go. There's a little snippet at the end. It says. Uh, to be continued in Civil War 2 number one. I'll let you know in the comments what it's like. Last but not least anyway is the t-shirt and it is another black t-shirt. Last month I commented on how they changed the um, supplier of the t-shirts it looked like and the t-shirts came were coming out bigger than they used to. It appears they're stuck with that provider and now we have this one. It says Raphael's Pizzeria, New York City. Oh yeah. So very obviously Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael and the pizza and everything. It would have been cool if they put this on like a green t-shirt or a t-shirt the colour of Raphael's um, eye thing. I, I can't remember what colour his one was in particular. Overall pretty cool. 
it's not a bad my geek box this month i really do like um this Dorbs Wolverine. I think a toss up between the t-shirt and the bottle opener because like the bottle opener will be handy and I do like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so yeah I think a good box overall. If you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up, go over to my channel Tonks Not Dora and press subscribe. <laughs>